everyone thanks for joining me on this video of how to record a flipgrid as a student let's go ahead and jump back to google classroom right over here you're going to have a flipgrid link provided by your teacher so go ahead and click on that link and once you do you should be on this landing page right here um you're going to have the option of google or microsoft so go ahead and click on google because you're going to be logging in with your mcpsmd.net google account you can't see it right here but I'm selecting that email account that's with it. Um, so it's probably a couple of numbers and then the at mcpsmd.net. Once you select that, you should be able to access the class. You can see the title here, weekly reflection, as well as how are the directions the teacher is giving you. So my teacher is giving me reflect about your week at home. Here you have the option of an image or a video that your teacher will provide for you. In this case, it's a GIF. And then right underneath here, I have an enticing green button that says record a response. But right underneath that, it says moderated. And by moderated, it means that my teacher will be the one choosing which video will be shown here for everyone else. So once I feel ready, I can go ahead and click on that record a response plus button and start recording my video. Now, you might either have to give permission to Flipgrid to allow to use your camera and your microphone, but if you already did, then you should see yourself. Hello. You can see a whole bunch of things that you can do with Flipgrid up there is a timer right here is where you could show the topic so if i click on it i can see that weekly reflection prompt the title as well as the direction so reflect about your week at home if i want to get rid of it just go ahead and click on high topic then i can add a sticky note so if i need to write quick notes about things that i've thought of like you know played with my dogs i could do that too then right here, I have video options. I'm going to ignore that. If I already pre-recorded a video somewhere else, I could just upload it there. Or if I'm ready to record, I could just go ahead and click on that video record button. So I'm going to go ahead and click on it. It does a nice countdown for me. And then I could see either up there, <laughs> it's recording and how much time I have left. And also down here to the pause button where I could also see where there's some time left. Once I feel like I am done recording, I click on that pause button. I can either redo the video if I don't feel like it, or I can click next if I'm ready. So I'm going to go ahead and click next. As you can see, my video already starts playing over so I can listen to it. If I like it, I can click next. If I don't like it, then I can delete it and redo it again. It's okay if you have to redo it. As you can see right now, I'm in the selfie portion of Flipgrid. So all I have to do is simply take a nice photo of myself and click on that camera below. And then I have the option to choose a couple of filters. So maybe I want it to be warm or super cool or maybe super warm if I want to go back to that beach. I could go ahead and click on a couple of stickers that I could do. Maybe a nice sunglasses because I'm out in the sun. I could make it bigger if I wanted to. And maybe I also want to add some color to it. So maybe I want to paint something like, you know, the sun or something like that. I could do that as well if I wanted to. Once I feel like my selfie is good, I could go ahead and click next. Or if I want to redo it, I can also do that as well. I'm going to go ahead and click next. And then it's going to say, okay, put your name, uh, let's hit on, of course. And then your title of your video, I'm going to put weekly reflection. And then I'm going to submit my video as is. Once I'm done, I can go ahead and click on complete. And oh no, where is my Flipgrid? Well, remember, it's moderated. So that means my teacher has to approve of my video before it is seen here. So once I'm done, I could just go ahead and log out and wait until my teacher puts my video up for Flipgrid. I hope that helped a lot. Let me know if you guys need anything else at all. Bye.